Yesterday gave us a bird's eye view of how starkly different the president's priorities are from those of the Democrats. Now, yesterday, the president headed to Texas to focus on two important issues. First, illegal immigration, and second, the energy sector. He also had a couple of fundraisers. But back in Washington, congressional Democrats worked on their agenda, which consists of basically harassing Attorney General Bill Barr about the Mueller report and, well, this. There he is, the goofy House Intel Committee chair, Adam Schiff, taking a selfie like a junior high school girl at the House Democrats' retreat. Now, look at that. In the background there are two Trump-hating elites from Tinseltown, singer John Legend and his wife model, Chrissy Teigen. Now, Democrats, including Speaker Pelosi, they sat mesmerized by the couple's take on politics in America. It's laughing through the pain, um, uh, but it's also important to balance that and be able to say where that true pain is. Chrissy was ahead of the curve on making fun of Donald Trump. I really was. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I, uh, thank she, you. she knew well before uh, a lot of America did that he was a joke and a con man and a clown. And uh, I think she was uh, appreciant in, in making fun of him early, long before he ever thought about running for president. Very classy, if not grammatical. Prescient? Appreciant? Or pre I think he means prescient, but who's counting? Now, meanwhile, 2,000 miles away near Houston, Donald Trump was hanging out with a different crowd. Visiting a union training center for operating engineers, the president signed a pair of executive orders that will cut red tape for companies seeking to build oil and gas pipelines. With incredible grit and talent and spirit, you lay the pipes that power our industries. You raise the beams that build our skyscrapers. And you are the men and women who get up every day and make this country run and, frankly, make this country great. Yeah. You do a great job. Now, it's funny, isn't it, how Democrats are spending millions on campaign consultants and these retreat things they're doing. And they're trying to attract more of the hard hat voters who were with Trump yesterday. But it, it's not a new slogan or a slick marketing campaign that blue collar voters want. What they want are policies that help business and put more money in their pockets. Well, yesterday showed that Trump isn't anti-union, by the way. He's pro-worker. Union training opportunities have given me a chance to better my operating engineer, making more money, building retirement, security, and having good health care. This opportunity at this international training center is going to pay my dividends. It has been a great experience. We appreciate what you're doing, President Trump, to grow this industry. Thank you. That applause went on for quite a while. Now, I'll take that hard hatter, Brandon Cooper, and his co-workers over the Hollywood glitterati any day, and I bet they're a lot more fun. But would Nancy? I was reminiscing with Chrissy and John on the way over. When we won the house the first time, they were there engaged on their way to Italy to be married. <laughs> and went to Italy, uh -huh, to Italy. <laughs> Whether it was at events for us here, there, and everywhere, or at the Democratic National Conventions, or at the celebration of our victory, John Legend and Chrissy have been there for us. Now, Trump doesn't have to beg for applause, but Pelosi seemed to have to beg for applause. Interesting. And I say nothing says working class America like fawning over celebrities turned self appointed political pundits mental health wise it's been really really hard for me to um to deal with this presidency there's no other way to say it um i think it's possible to be really angry all the time i think it's possible to constantly want to call out all the transgressions and all the lies now i've heard that people with anger issues always seem to blame others for causing them it's kind of stunning. You can't find any joy in your life until Trump is out of office. It's kind of sounded like that. 
If that's true, that is truly sad, but it's frankly not our problem. Back in Texas, the president was speaking with real Americans who had stories to tell that were truly sad. Ranchers who described in vivid detail the bodies of illegal immigrants that they had found on their property just over the past year. The president was so moved and so affected about the humanitarian problem at the border and all the pain it causes local communities that he decided in a closed door event to bring the press in. And I said, what can I do for you folks to create more jobs? And we start talking and the first person gets up and said, sir, we have many people dying coming across the border. And we find dead people from Guatemala, Honduras, from El Salvador, from Mexico, all over. You really should cover it right. This has nothing to do with politics. This has nothing to do with campaigning or my campaign. <coughs> this is totally unexpected that I'd have you in here. You see, we do have an empathetic president. And he's actually trying to solve a real problem that our open borders uh, are creating. He's genuinely interested in hearing from Americans who are dealing with the fallout of our failed border enforcement every single day. Pelosi, Schiff, and the entire Open Borders Caucus, they prefer to pretend the crisis isn't a crisis. Hang out at the Democrat retreat and go to your yoga sessions in the afternoon. Well, that leaves more time to hear from the real experts. Donald Trump treats everything like it's an episode of, what's that movie, The Village? Like where there's this wall and, this, and these monsters to keep outside that we shouldn't talk to or we shouldn't have anything to do with because we're in this wall. Brilliant. Yeah, that's why the president said the wall should have a big, beautiful door for people to come in legally. Do they not remember that? Now, while the Democrats cater to the entertainment elites, that's not a big surprise. Obama did it, too. The president is working for the forgotten men and women of America. Now, he hasn't accomplished everything he set out to do yet. We have some huge problems bearing down on us still. But this country is better by almost every measure under his leadership. Certainly no reason to be so angry. The Democrats' vision, by contrast, seems dark and mad. They're infuriated all the time. They see an America where racism and misogyny reign supreme. If there was one word you would help, particularly women, use more frequently, what would that one word be? F you. <laughs> we'll go take two. <laughs> You're very good at I'm this. I'm sorry. Speak of the You're very I good at so this. Much. That's what our young girls need. Just the message for those hard hats in Texas. That's what they've been waiting for, all the blue collar people? I think not. The Democrats better find a good eye doctor. From their Russian obsession to their embrace of open borders to green lighting and fanticide, they just keep failing the vision test for middle America. And that's the angle.